the Badgers come to Xfinity Center and win it by double figures. The Wisconsin loss was definitely tough for our team. No one thought we were going to lose at home, but we just didn't come out ready to play. I'm almost, you know, happy that we lost because, you know, it refocuses us moving forward. And, um, you know, ultimately you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year. We're not even close to our best basketball. That was just off a little bit. No one's perfect. Obviously, Melo hasn't been playing like himself lately, but it's not something I worry about. I just know that if I'm encouraging and, you know, I continue to push him at practice, like, he's going to snap out of the phone. He's too good of a player to, you know, let this continue to be a downward slope. When you guard each other every day in practice, there's respect there. Varun doesn't back down to Melo, and so he's always pestering him every day. Some days Melo gets a little frustrated and will let Varun know, but Varun just keeps coming back at him. He's small, strong, active. He's very smart. He's always communicating, and uh, he's a veteran on the team. So he knows everything about you know defensive principles and also offense. So I mean, he knows my next move every time I try to make it. In 10 years, I'll be watching you know Melo playing in the NBA, and I'll tell my kids like I played against him. You know I did everything in my power to make him better, and I might tell them that I made him the player he is today. <laughs> Trimble. Oh, he buries it. I was right down at the very end of the bench for most of the game, but I was cheering my butt off. I'd probably done 100 squats, standing up, sitting down, you know. And I felt like I'd played 20 plus minutes. That helped me for the last 13 seconds when coach decided to put me in for the last possession. We were in foul trouble and he was our next man up. Any player that goes through a whole game, doesn't play at all, it's gonna be stiff, out of the game, just, you know, want the game to be over. But overall, he was, he was ready. Five seconds, Carter. Three seconds, Carter loses the ball. It's over. Varun Ram, the walk-on, gets the block shot to seal it. It's just like the icing on the cake. I'm honored to just be on the team and have the jersey, but to see myself play one possession and, and make an impact like that, you know, it means a lot. I'm making um, chicken tikka masala, uh, Varun's favorite dish. Hey, Hello. what's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Look at you. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm good. Both my parents are from South India, from a state called Tamil Nadu. What else do we have? What else we have? Just go to the table there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and your favorite, too. Culturally, it's a little different than American culture. The stress is mainly in academics, and it's almost like, why are you wasting your time, you know, playing a sport if you're not going to do it professionally? Were you done with that uh, uh, homework like you were supposed to do? What, the winner? Yeah. No, I'm not done that. You're not done that? No, I got to go back and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I go to India now. I say, Warren is uh, playing in the, you know, basketball in the uh, Division One. Oh, okay, he's playing. So tell me about uh, what he's going to study. Is he going to become a doctor or is he going to become an engineer? Mr. Nice will probably come to the game. So. Yeah, but I need to go. Do you, you want to go? Yeah. I can get you for sure four and then eight. <laughs> eight? <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do. I'm so grateful that my parents even let me, you know, play basketball growing up. A lot of their friends were telling me, you know, why are you letting your kid play at club teams and go travel every weekend to all these tournaments? Like, why is he not studying? I said, we sent you to college to study and you are now wasting your time on the game. And then Warren replied, said, Daddy, if I need to study uh, well, uh, I need to play. Then right away I said, then you go and play more because I want you to study better. Suleiman, Tehran. I graduated undergrad with a degree in physiology and neurobiology with a 396. Now I'm working towards a master's in supply chain management and um, the first semester I got a 40, so I was happy about that. It is amazing to see Varun not sacrificing one for the other. I know he's putting his level best both on the court and off the court. The game is so much bigger than just basketball. Just to be able to go back home to where my parents grew up and make an impact on kids' lives who come from poverty, who come from a culture where sports isn't really the focus. They see me and they always are like, oh, Varun, can you dunk for us? And then I'll, I'll dunk and then they'll be like, oh my God, it's possible. 
I never really realized that I was a trailblazer as an Indian American basketball player until people were telling me that. I've gotten so much feedback from kids. Wow, you've really changed my life. You showed me that it's possible to do well academically and athletically. You know, I've had kids tell me, like, my parents, they're letting me play sports because of you. 